The Tampa Bay area, it's loaded with high-powered sports figures. Most we know, like Tom Brady, Bruce Arians, Jeff Vinnick, but there is somebody from the Tampa Bay areas who's just as powerful in the sports world, and you may not even know his name. He's Fred Ridley. He is the chairman of famed Augusta National Golf Course, and he's lived here in the Tampa Bay area his entire life. In a rare interview, Ridley talked with me about his journey to the top. And that's, that's at the dinner. Standing next to Fred Ridley as he scans one of his photo albums from the Masters, you are quickly in awe of the life he leads. And that's a little thing we have afterwards in the butler cabin upstairs. This Tampa attorney is the powerful chairman of Augusta National, the home of the most prestigious golf tournament in the world, the Masters. It was Nick, he had a couple of his grandchildren caddying for him. We recently spent time with Ridley at his Tampa home. He shared with us photos and memorabilia he's collected through his life in golf. Here's a photo of Ridley, his wife Betsy, three daughters and grandson with Tiger Woods when he won the Masters two years ago. Oh, that's, that's a good that's picture Betsy. of y'all. Yeah. While he may be surrounded by a lot of famous people, Chairman Fred Ridley runs the show. The 2021 Masters is now officially underway. Enjoy the tournament, everyone. Ridley's love of golf began as a young boy, a long way from Augusta, on a public course in Polk County. Both of my parents were school teachers uh, in the public school system. My dad was a weekend public course player and took me out when I was about 10 years old. His mom kept detailed scrapbooks of his success on the courses of Winter Haven and Lakeland as he was growing up. He went on to play golf at the University of Florida, soon after set his career in motion by winning the U.S. Amateur Golf Tournament. Perhaps as a foreshadowing of what was to come in Ridley's life, here's a photo of Ridley with Jack Nicholas walking the fairway at the Masters 45 years ago, the year after he won the U.S. Amateur. And to have the opportunity to you know, walk the grounds of Augusta National at the, during the Masters Tournament, playing in the Masters Tournament with him was something that you know, every young boy who played golf would always dream of. So it was, it was a great day. But unlike everyone else who has won the U.S. Amateur, Ridley decided not to turn pro and focus on law school instead. I really wanted to finish school. I wanted to have my law degree and then sort of assess what might be after that. But the game of golf, the tradition, the grace and honor was in Ridley's blood and the sport eventually found its way back into his life. In 1987, I got a call from the USGA unexpectedly asking me to captain the 1987 Walker Cup team. That led to a position on the USGA executive board and ultimately to what many consider the most powerful position in the world of golf, chairman of Augusta National. You know, I've been very fortunate. Golf's been very good to me. I mean, I've tried to give back to the game, but like a lot of things in life, you know, you typically the things you're involved in and you try to give back to, you end up getting more. And that's certainly been the case with me in the game of golf. While he may have tremendous power as chairman of Augusta, his friends say Ridley's gentlemanly nature has never changed in all these years. Uh, you know, I try to put golf, you know, in perspective. I mean, it's, you know, after all, it is just a game. Uh, but it is a game for a lifetime. It's one that enables those who enjoy it and love it to create great relationships, friendships. You know, most of my friends... Uh, outside of my family. Most of my friends uh, are, they have some connection to the game of golf, and it's just kind of the way it works. In the four years since he became chairman, Ridley has embraced the responsibilities that come with this position. He says he owes it to the game that has given him so much. You know, I met my wife Betsy through a friend on the Florida golf team, and, uh, you know, all of our three girls love the game. So, it's, it's not only been a big part of my life, but it's been a big part of our family life. Not bad for a small town boy from Polk County who will never forget where he came from. I wake up every day pitching myself. Uh, you, know, you know, this young boy from Polk County, Florida that, uh, you know, ends up in this uh, environment is, is really something that I have to shake my head sometimes, you know, just to make sure that it's real.
He looks the same, doesn't he? Amazing. In his four years as chairman, Ridley has done a lot to promote the game of golf. He brought a women's amateur to Augusta, along with the Asia Pacific and Latin American amateur, and a chip and putt tournament as well, as a way to inspire interest in golf around the world.